What's going on, y'all? This is Lecrae, and uh, welcome to my channel where we discuss faith, culture, and hip hop. Today, I have something very interesting to discuss, but before we do that, you know what I'm gonna ask you to do. I don't even know why you're asking me or looking at me crazy. Like and subscribe. Do that. Thank you. God bless you. God gonna bless you for that. I grew up as a kid being able to listen to artists, you know, like a, a Talib Kweli or a Common, a Most Deaf, a Lauryn Hill. And they were considered conscious rappers because they talked about the things that mattered in society or things that should have been on our brain and we should be pondering. And here we are now in 2022, 20, 23. And when you say conscious rap, people may bring up J. Cole, they may bring up Childish Gambino, they may bring up Kendrick Lamar or Corday. And I'm wondering, because those artists probably wouldn't call themselves conscious rappers but I'm wondering if Christians shouldn't be the embodiment of conscious rap. Doesn't mean the beats have to sound like boom bap or old school classic hip hop sounds, but it just means that, isn't it the ultimate source of consciousness to be looking at life through the lens that God has given us? You know what I'm saying? Like in my mind, us as believers should be on the forefront of creating the conversation about meaning and matter and art and culture. But too often I feel like we get stuck in just being evangelical. There's nothing wrong with that, we should be. But if God is the creator of everything that's under the sun, shouldn't we be very vocal about those particular things? Shouldn't we have something to say about purpose and meaning and life and death? Shouldn't we have something to say about shootings that occur in schools? Shouldn't we have a perspective on women in hip hop and women in general who are, you know, being misogynized and, and disrespected? I mean, honestly, we have 66 books in scripture to give us wisdom and insight on how to navigate the world. And yet, I think we limit our music to just talking about God is good, Jesus saved me, and a couple little nuanced bars here and there about I love the Lord or I'm reading my scriptures or I'm killing demons. When in fact, I feel like we have a unique opportunity to speak into the world in a profound way, in the ways that I feel like J. Cole and Kendrick and Childish are doing. They have a lot of insight, but they're not necessarily drawn from the Hebrew scriptures. And I'm like, man, if we got the answers, why are we letting people wrestle with the questions without stepping into the scene and giving the answers like we should? So shout out to all the you know, believers out there who are using their platform and their gift to, you know, put some 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 perspective out there and to put some, you know, uh, some conscious thoughts and wrestle with things in their music. But I believe we should see more of that, you know what I'm saying? So if that's you, much love to you. And if it's not you, why not? What's going on, y'all? Thank you for checking out my channel. Make sure you hit the like, the subscribe, and ring the bell for the notifications. Also, check me out on social media. Name is spelled L-E-C-R-A-E. God bless y'all.